Okay, Alan in Florida says you recommend not keeping more than 250000 in any bank. What about credit unions? Are they insured by the government? Yeah, great question. The credit unions, almost all credit unions in the United States, are part of NCUA, the National Credit Union Administration, which is the federal equivalent of FDIC for banks. That's what it's called for credit unions. And the coverages are essentially identical. They are, it's the, it's the federal government. It's the real deal at credit unions. Now, I've been asked since Sunday, over and over again, people said, okay, so why is nobody talking about problems at credit unions? Why has that not been an issue? I mentioned this briefly Sunday night, why the credit unions were not going to be an issue. Credit unions overwhelmingly do accounts for individuals. The super regional banks are what now I've noticed over the course of the last four days, the um, the journal journalists have settled on the term mid-sized banks is what they're calling the banks below the 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 four giant monster mega banks. They're calling mid-sized. Mid-sized banks overwhelmingly serve business accounts, and so their um, deposits were in most cases heavily uninsured because business accounts are almost always for businesses going to be. Uh, in many cases, many times larger on hand at a bank than quarter million. I've looked in, for, it's kind of settles in somewhere between 50 and 60% of deposit money in the mid-sized banks uninsured by the traditional FDIC limit. Credit unions, on the other hand, do, um, many of them do all their business only with individuals, and some will do a small amount of their business with companies but it's very rare in a credit union that there are deposits that someone has on hand that exceed the quarter million NCUA limit. That's why there's been no run on credit unions, nothing like that. 